Good dog. We are a black ops unit. Savant! Your commanding officer will be Colonel Rick Flagg. Or would you rather be called Derland? But I'll do anything to get out of this hell hole. Opening scene when you see Rick Flagg, he really is like the parent of this group. Everyone is kind of like adolescents or children. But he is different. Right away, he comes in and he welcomes everyone with a warm smile and a strong handshake, showing direct respect. He asks him what he wants to be called, and he wants to make sure that everyone feels comfortable and safe. And it is different than how anyone else treats the members of the Suicide Squad. They're made fun of by the people that are running the operations, by the correctional officers, by the other inmates, and even the doctor called Savant a dog. But Rick looks at this differently. These are the people that he's gonna take care of, and he's gonna make sure that he runs this with respect and care. He's not a werewolf, okay? He's a weasel, he's harmless. I mean, he's not harmless, he's killed 27 children, but he's agreed to do this. Whatever the case, just everyone get in a position to drop. So just like a good parent, like the dad of the group, Rick comes in when he sees everyone squabbling and they're fighting and they're starting to tease and right away he knows that this could cause a problem in his team members. And if a team does not work as a cohesive unit, they are not gonna be able to survive together. So right away he comes in and he sets the tone. He makes sure that everyone stops their complaining. He explains who Weasel he believes is because he wants to make sure that he can bring home his team safely. Just like a good parent would. There's gonna be a lot of soldiers watching Jotunheim. If they discover us there. Let's pray they do not, or you will all be dead. If they do, that'll leave the palace vulnerable. Luna and the other generals will be left without protection. You're a good man, Colonel Flagg. He also thinks beyond the mission. His mission is not to save the city. He's thinking about that. He has a lot of empathy and care, and not just for his team members, but also for the greater good of the community. He doesn't mind sacrificing himself for this greater good. If his life has to be ended, but he can do something with it to serve a purpose, that is an acceptable cost for him. Ratatouille, what do you got? Always clear. There doesn't seem to be any incoming traffic. Bird. And now it. Stay off the comp. Two. What are you guys doing? We're here to save you. Just like a good dad, he's not going to leave any of his kids behind. Even if they weren't directly on his team, even if it goes against mission, he's always thinking about the greater good and the big picture. But what I love about this scene the most, how thoughtful and kind he is to Nanoe, when he's saying something absolutely ridiculous. And any parent you could see at this stage when the stakes are so high and you're frustrated could lose their temper and yell, but that would ruin motivation. Nanoe just wants to be a part of the team and he knows this. So he very calmly, yet still with authority, told Nanoe to stay off the calm, but in a way that wasn't gonna destroy his self-esteem and not want him to participate further after. Okay. 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 When Harley comes up to give him a hug, he's still holding the gun and hugging her at the same time, showing that he wants to still make sure, like that soldier that wants to protect everyone is still in there, but then he rubs her with the gun because he doesn't want her to feel like she was neglected or that he wasn't returning the affection. And I think that this is a cute juxtaposition between his parental care and empathy and his protectiveness. They experimented on children. No one is saying what they did was right. They experimented on children! You might say, why does he even care so much? This is not what his job is. The thought of children being damaged, just like he's the parent to his team and they're the kids to him, he feels a great sense of duty to make sure to protect. And I think that that probably has changed since he's been on missions with the Suicide Squad because he feels it every time he loses any one of his team members. Just like he was sad about Weasel when no one was paying attention if he could swim or not, or when Harley ran into battle and so he went in also. He understands that everyone has value even if they're thrown away from society. Even the smallest, even the weakest, even the ones that no one understands because they're a weasel.
peacemaker. What a joke. I think that his death is really symbolic of the team having to go out on their own. With the last words of Peacemaker, what a joke. I think that it also is a really important scene for him trying to tell Peacemaker that he should have done better, he should be better. I don't think that he was there to insult him. I think that he was genuinely disappointed. And out of all the things as children that hurts us the most, that's to have a parent be disappointed in us. And I think that he was hoping that this would help Peacemaker reflect and look back on his choices and maybe make better choices in the future. Let me know if these were your favorite Rick Flag scenes or did I forget some? And what are your thoughts on him? He was one of my favorite characters and heartbreaking to lose him. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe.